Hi everyone, I'm Olga Villaverde. And I'm Amber Milt. Welcome to The Balancing Act. All right, Amber, shall we toast to a great morning? Oh yes, it's Wine 30 somewhere, and I'm so jealous because you get to learn all about one of my favorite wines, Menage a Trois. Luckily, we've got some I can sample right now, so salute. Salute. You give it a whirl, and you know, wine is good for your health. That's what they say. But we're also going to show you how personalized medicine. Did you like it? Oh, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Based on our DNA is becoming a game changer. Plus, we've got some sweet yet tart treats just in time for Easter, courtesy of our favorite, Chef Ralph. Mm, that was fabulous. Yeah, cheers. Right. Cheers to you. The Balancing Act starts right now. Welcome back, everyone. You know, I'm not giving this up because it is one of my favorite Menage a Trois wines. It's the Red Blend, and I found out I'm in good company because it ranks nationally as one of the most popular wines around. I bring this to every one of my book clubs. Here's Olga with more about their varieties, selections, and pairings. Are you a wine aficionado? Do you know what food to pair with that wine? Well, not all of us are experts, not me. And figuring out what wine to buy can be so overwhelming. Well, have no fear this morning. We're gonna have so much fun. Here to help us out is entertaining expert, my friend, Christina Nicholson. She has some great tips on creating the perfect pairing. Good morning. Good morning, Olga. We're gonna have fun. We are gonna have fun. We're gonna have wine. The good news is you don't have to be an expert to do this. No? No. Okay, so my favorite is red. Okay, and mine is white. Okay, but there's so much to choose from, so yes. I feel like I have to be that expert. You're gonna learn a little bit. You just need to follow some simple guidelines like to what? match the food with the wine. Well, if the food is mild, you wanna go with a more mild wine. If the food is flavorful, you choose a flavorful wine. And I brought plenty to choose from, from Menage a Trois. What? Menage a Trois, Olga. <laughs> I said it. A little risque this morning. Fun and flirty. That means three. Yes, well that's how the brand started with three grapes, hence the name Menage a Trois. Well, I feel like we need one more individual here. Okay. Can Stand we find by. somebody? Stand by, yes, I'm Let's gonna get find somebody. my we'll fabulous about photographer, wines. this poor man. Oh. Diego. Lucky Diego. And wait, Me. wait, wait, he's from Costa Rica. You want to be part of the menage a trois? I would love to, but you know, I kind of got to get back behind You're the dying. camera. Yeah. He's dying. He's like, Olga, oh, stop it. Back behind the camera, Diego. We'll Party save a glass for you. All right, so you have a great display here. Yes. We've got appetizers, main dishes, and desserts. And desserts. So what have you combined for All me? All right, so let's start with the appetizer. We're going to start with the Prosecco, and this Ooh. is a light wine Italian sparkler made with 100% glare of grapes. You can taste it's kind of citrusy, some mm. floral notes, bright green apple flavors. Very light. Really good. It goes very well with something sweet and salty, so we paired it with a smoked salmon bruschetta this morning. Yes. Okay, this very one good. Okay. My red. Yes, you're red. You will like this one. If you want something a little richer, you want to go with the Merlot. This is made with some blueberries and juicy plums. It's got some hints of coconut and sweet vanilla, and this goes really well with mm. a cheese tray, some homemade jams and pickles. Also light. It's really good, isn't it? I like it? that. Okay, I know okay. you're a white girl. Yes, white I wine. love the gold. This is for your main dish. Now, you want to have the gold if you're looking for some chicken breast, some crab claws, and it has some tropical fruit flavors. It's really good. Let me try this real quick. Go ahead I and like talk the about gold. that one. Okay, this one, maybe my favorite because I love Italian food. So you want to have a richer rind when you have Italian food. And this is the original red blend offering with blackberries, boysenberries, and it has hints of cinnamon and brown sugar. So a little richer for that one. My favorite. Part. Okay. My and favorite. then these two down here. Okay. So we will finish up with silk. This is the newest red blend offering. And it also shows the softer side. And just like its name suggests, it's very silky and seamless. Goes well with some sea bass, mashed potatoes, and mushrooms. All right, and last but not least, the last desserts. Last but not least. Well, let's get one more dinner in there for the steak and fry fans. Just some Cabernet Sauvignon. All right. Goes great with how, that. By the way, before we get to the desserts, how did these compare like with other wines? Menage a Trois is fun, flirty, innovative, high quality. Best grapes in California put into the Menage a Trois wines. She's ready this morning. Wow. All right. Desserts. Desserts, our favorite part, right? Okay, so let's start with Midnight. Midnight, another richer wine. Olga, right up your alley. You will like this one. Beside your dessert with the molten chocolate cake and some salted caramel sauce. And, and then back to white. We end with the Moscato. Moscato juicy peach. Sweet, tart, goes great with a citrus dessert and some ice cream. Let me tell you, I think Menage a Trois knows a thing or two or three. Or three, I like that. They do. They have been awarded more than 600 medals since 2005. Very attractively priced, and they have a tasting room 
in the heart of Napa Valley where you can try all 16 wines. This has been so great. Thank yes. you so much. Okay, no so problem. let's toast. Okay, I'm, I'm going to have grab, my favorite gonna, Segold. I'm not one to have Prosecco, but this was very it's good. good. And for Diego. Diego. I know you're not here with us, but I'm going to grab the red for you. Is that okay? Yeah? Still want to be part go. of the party? <laughs> yeah? Okay. Diego, get the red. Smart man. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to you. Where's Chris? Fabulous. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Mm. For more information about Menage a Trois wines, go to menage a wines.com or go to our website, thebalancingact.com. And now that we're going to commercial, Diego, this is for you. I don't know about you, but watching all those food pairings, they got me feeling a little hungry. Luckily for us, Chef Ralph's in the kitchen with some more deliciousness. He's got key lime tarts on the menu. And we've got personalized medicine that fits you to a tea. That's all coming up. Stay with us. Many of us take prescription drugs and oftentimes we're hit with side effects, adverse reactions, some more severe than others. And we can end up taking even more drugs to counteract those effects. But imagine if we could tailor which medicine works best for us. Revolutionary. That's how Dr. Moni Singleton, who practices family medicine, describes the relatively new technology, personalized medicine, also known as designer medicine and precision medicine. It's the latest technology that is able to design treatments, whether they are drug treatments or medical device treatments, based upon a person's DNA. Yes, you heard him right. Medicine based on your own DNA, your genetic makeup. Our age, lifestyle, and health all impact how we respond to medications, but so do our genes. With personalized medicine, looking at the DNA, we specifically focus on looking at the variations of the DNA, what has happened with those genes. The more likelihood of contracting a chronic disease, is a result of having multiple genetic variations. We're talking customized healthcare. Obviously, we're all different. And doctors say those very differences, individual genetic variations, greatly impact our response to therapeutic drugs. Uh, we are beginning to focus more on the genetics because we're seeing that's what's causing the diseases and that's important in metabolizing the drugs that we are prescribing. The doctor, who has over 30 years of experience in providing health care in rural areas, partnered with Atlanta-based Alpha Genomics Laboratories to provide the required test. He says roughly 20 to 25 percent of his patients are now on personalized medicine. I started coming here because I wasn't feeling right. I was feeling lethargic, no energy. Patients like 32-year-old Jonathan Ackes, the father of a five-year-old daughter and sales rep for a major beer distributor, has always been outgoing. I like weightlifting. We go hiking, anything outdoors I love. Very involved in the community and the church. I help them with youth ministries. But Jonathan's fun had diminished, and he knew something was wrong. Dr. Singleton, hey, how you doing? Dr. Singleton diagnosed him with depression. Using the trial and error method, the doctor gave him samples to try, drugs that generally are more effective and with fewer side effects. And then he wrote a prescription for Jonathan. I started out with a medication that was working phenomenal, and then after about four or five months, the insurance company decided not to pay for it anymore. So he started me on a generic. Well, that generic was not right for me because I fell right back into depression. He became depressed very, very rapidly. And that's when Dr. Singleton told Jonathan about personalized medicine. And Jonathan took a test that looks at his DNA. We did the test. Sure enough, the medication, that generic medication that I put him on, he did not metabolize it appropriately. Then it gave a list of uh, appropriate medications and we got on one of those generics, and then within two months, I was back to normal. One of the things that we have found through research that specifically looks at depression is the more medications a person has tried for the treatment of the depression, the less the effectiveness is. So it's very, very important that we find out the right drug at the right time.
Another buzzword you'll hear in this field is pharmacogenetics, which is a subcategory of precision or personalized medicine. Pharma, looking at the science of the drug, and genetics, looking at the study of a person's genes and how the genes influence the response that an individual gets from the medication. Pharmacogenetics tests are most commonly used for drugs used in cardiology, depression, and or mental illness, and pain management. What we have here in America now is an explosion of addiction to pain pills, which are called opioids, or in the past called opiates. And I think that we're seeing that explosion, number one, because they're more available, but number two, because they're pr being prescribed the wrong medications. And pharmacogenetics tests are especially helpful if you have failed to respond to multiple medications. Undergoing the test itself is pretty simple. While in your doctor's office, a nurse practitioner swabs the inside of your mouth and then sends it to the alpha genomics lab. The doctor has the results in about five to 10 days. We can see if the medications that the patient is on are the correct medications. And if not, we can, at that point in time, see what would be the appropriate medication. Dr. Singleton says that some of the common medicines, either over-the-counter or prescribed medication, simply don't work for everyone. As an example, when we look at the medications that are prescribed for cardiac arrhythmias, of depression, medications that are for the treatment of asthma, any one particular drug does not work in 60% of the people that are taking them. When we look at, let's say, medications for migraine, when we look for medications for osteoporosis, when we look for medications for arthritis, 50% of the time, that particular drug is not working the way that we think that it should work. Another example that is very, very frightening is cancer drugs and drugs for Alzheimer's disease. They don't work 70% of the time the way that we think they should. Personalized medicine is going to eliminate having to take a drug to counteract the side effects of another drug because we are going to find out the right drug at the right dose and put you on that medication to start with. And the doctor isn't alone in his enthusiasm. Statistics show the field is expanding. And just last year, the National Institutes of Health awarded $55 million to help towards a landmark study on the subject. We're going to, over time, find that this technology is going to help to solve lots of problems with our chronic diseases. And I think that just from the standpoint of being able to eliminate diseases, I think we are going to be able to use this technology and do the same kinds of things with eradication of chronic diseases that we did with smallpox. I'm very excited about it. Dr. Singleton encourages you to ask your doctor about personalized medicine. And in the meantime, you can learn more at alphagenomics.com or our website, thebalancingact.com. You know, Amber, we South Floridians are so spoiled. We've got the weather, we've got the beach, and we've got key lime pie. Ah. New Yorkers love that too, by the way. It's one of my favorites. It's actually one of those few things I can cook. And you can enjoy that deliciously sweet yet tart treat whenever and wherever. And by the way, Easter time is the perfect time to try this easy recipe. Here's Ralph. Hey, it's me, Chef Ralph Pagano, and welcome to my kitchen. There's no need to pull a rabbit out of the hat when it comes to creating a delicious Easter treat. And I got a way to make a fun family favorite. We all love the refreshingly sweet, taut taste of the Florida key lime. So today, I've got some great key lime recipes, just like Mama used to make, only faster and easier. Dr. Irk has made it so easy for this key lime pie recipe to come to life. Check it out. So simple. I've got two egg yolks, a little bit of water, and the secret mix goes right here into my bowl. I'm gonna mix it all together. All the time on my stovetop, I've got boiling water. I'm gonna whisk these together. And you know, this is a, uh, a culinary term we call tempering, right? And when you temper something, you take the eggs, the sugar, and you wanna bring them up to temperature the right way, but you don't want them to get all uh, curdled and lumpy. This is how you do it the right way. You spin them together like this, no lumps about it. 
and then this boiling water simply, you just pour it up right into the bowl, just a little bit, maybe about a third of what's in that pot. And that'll temper those egg yolks. That's gonna make them really rich and creamy. You know, Dr. Irk has been around for 125 years. He's the father of the modern baking powder. This guy knows how to bake. This stuff is so easy to prepare. All right, so you mix it all together. Now check it out, into the pot we go, just like this. In, look how easy this is, right? The powder does all the work. I've got great key lime flavor. I'm gonna pour it into my crust. That's simple, look at that. Look how beautiful that stuff is. This looks just like it make it when I make it at the restaurant. Exactly the same way. Wow. Now I like to leave a little bit in the pot for tasting purposes later on. Mm -mm -mm. That's it, that's how simple it is. Now we just need a couple of minutes for the filling to cool off. And in the meantime, no key lime pie is correct without a little bit of meringue on top. Right, now this is just egg whites and sugar. That's how simple it is. You need to whisk it up a little bit with a little hand whisk, or if you got the beater, bring it out to so get these soft peaks just like this. The pie's right there. You can just take the meringue, put it right on top, just like this. You can make little meringue poofs like this. You can make little key lime tarts like that. You can make key lime bars like this. Take out your handy blowtorch. I know everybody carries one around, I know I do. Light it up. Give that meringue a little caramelization. It's like a marshmallow on top of your key lime pie. And I can tell you, between one good chef and one great doctor, we've got one fantastic key lime pie. Sweet and tart, the whole family's gonna love this. Hey, to find out more about Dr. Ertka's key lime pie filling and dessert mix, go to ertka.us. That's O-E-T-K-E-R.us. Or visit our website, thebalancingact.com. And don't forget to share your favorite recipe with us. This has been a quick bite. Mm. We're too slowly. That's good. That looks really good. My girls would love that. Ooh, they would. And you know what else they're going to love? What? A girl's guide to car care. <laughs> see what I just did there? Yeah, you're very caring. LOL. Now let's see how we can care for our cars. It's April, and do you know what that means? It's National Car Care Month. Hi, Jenny Eisenman, back with some tips about being car care aware. Winter is coming to an end, so let's spring forward and get your car ready for the months ahead and summer road trips. Spring driving brings its own hazards, such as slick, wet roads. So it's important to make sure your tires, brakes, and windshield wipers are ready for the rain. Spring also means allergy season. Bless you. One way to help alleviate your allergies, change your air filters regularly. They'll filter out pollen, dust, and other irritants. While some filters can be switched out easily with basic tools, it may be beneficial to seek assistance from a Sears Auto Center technician to ensure proper installation. This should be done every 12 to 15,000 miles. Be car care aware. Here's the checklist. Every three months, check the engine, oil, and filter. Check the levels of other fluids, including automatic transmission, power steering and brakes, and check the battery, cables, belts and hoses, as well as the exhaust and fuel filter. And don't forget one very critical safety element that's often overlooked, vehicle headlight maintenance. Headlights are the first line of defense on a vehicle. If you can't see objects on the road, you can't react to them. Don't wait until they burn out. If you can't remember when the last time your headlights were changed, maybe it's time for replacement. And always replace in pairs for safety. Schedule an appointment at your local Sears Auto Center and get a free vehicle performance snapshot evaluation every time you bring your vehicle in for service. That'll help to reduce the chances of an unexpected breakdown. For more information, go to searsauto.com or thebalancingact.com. That's our show for today. Thanks so much for watching. Is it bad that I'm still thinking about the wine? No, you like the wine? I do. Okay, I have a surprise for you. 
Okay, guys, remember you can head to our Facebook page and our website, and of course, you can follow us on Twitter. We've got lots more there. And oh, you have lots more here. I wanted to give you one to take home back to New York for oh. you and your hubby. Oh, well, thank <laughs> you. I mean, I might just have it for breakfast. I hope Chef Ralph has uh, another piece of that pie. There you go. See you next time.